Well, here it is, frame generation for Lenovo Legion Go, a new graphic uh, driver, it's available um, for Lenovo Legion Go. And this one is bringing frame generation or AMD fluid motion frames. As you see here in AMD Adrenaline application, we have now the possibility to use um, AMD fluid motion frames. Uh, and as they say here, this is a... Um, uh, this uh, it's using frame generation technology to increase FPS beyond the in-game limit. Indeed, it's marvelous and I will show you immediately in Ghost of Tsushima. First of all, let me show you how to get it, how to install it, how it works and how it looks. Well, um, if you use um, uh, Lenovo Legion app, it's possible that you won't see over there the update for me. Uh, it wasn't available anywhere anyway so that's why you have to go to their website on uh, Lenovo drivers and software and here you have graphic processing units and here it is this is um, this is the driver uh, released on 27 um, May um, the version it will end in this one dot one zero zero one this is uh, this is the driver basically press download install it but be very careful for me um, this driver um, generated an error when I tried to to start the AMD application the this one adrenaline application I had an error saying that it's an uh, old version unsupported you either search for it in your uh, drivers on C, um, uh, C drive where you have the windows, you have a folder, drivers, search over there um, VGA and um, you, will find, uh, um, you will find it there. For me, um, I decided to re uh, reset the windows and I installed, um, I had a fresh install and everything worked. So, um, once you start the AMD application, you will see now here AMD fluid motion frames. This is stunning. The, the, experience, the experience is incredible. But from what I saw, this doesn't work in any game. You have to use DirectX 11 or 12. This is fine. You have to disable vertical synchronization. This is fine also. And um, you have to put the game to full screen mode or full screen exclusive mode and from what I saw only if the game has frame generation embedded or integrated in it this isn't great I know but hey this is it probably in the future they will let us to use it in any game anyway there are a lot of games that will have frame generation active uh, as an option uh, it's great to have it here. My advice also activate Radeon Anti-Lag and um, uh, Radeon Boost. Um, this is what I use for every game and um, let me show you Ghost of Tsushima here. How it looks with um, 1920 by 1200. FSR 3 set to balanced and here it is frame generation active and I have for graphics medium quality this is uh, this is absolutely shocking to, to play I can play to also with high quality I will show you immediately so we have medium quality 1200p resolution and frame uh, frame generation active so this is the game look we have 62 frames 63 it looks phenomenal here it's unbelievable at this point to to have something uh, like this i decided to use for this game um, the vi video ram it's set as you see here at six gigabytes in uh, bios the game it's using at this point uh, 3.6 gigabytes something uh, like that probably it's better to use it with four gigabytes to have more RAM at your disposal um, I don't know what to say probably uh, you have to test for every game which uh, which which uh, option it's better to have six gigabytes of video RAM four gigabytes it's up to you anyway I see that this game uh, it's using only uh, 
3.5 gigabytes but anyway 60 frames with medium quality 1200p resolution this is phenomenal let's go to high quality and let's see what happens so we have high quality but you can lower for example um, volumetric uh, fog um, depth of field and motion blur and at this point with high quality graphics 56 frames 60 frames wow this is shocking so from my point of view frame generation or or uh, uh, fluid motion from AMD it's absolutely incredible and you should uh, upgrade the driver to get this look again I will say it 1200p resolution high quality graphics at this point this is it it's it's unbelievable unbelievable Look what happens without frame generation. If we deactivate frame generation, but still we have FSR 3. Look, we have 35 frames, half basically, almost half. Look what, what happens without frame generation, 35 frames let's activate frame generation here it is apply and here it is 60 frames 50 60 frames with again i repeat high quality graphics and 1200p resolution this is it my advice go uh, go for this update it's incredible and be careful as i said it doesn't work in any game um, it's possible that you will break the AMD uh, adrenaline software because it seems that it's a problem that driver will install another version of AMD adrenaline um, software and it will mess up the windows it's a mess I know I know it's not Steam OS but um, it's Windows and it's a mess with the drivers because Lenovo has a driver, modified driver from AMD and uh, you know it's like a triangle um, when you install the new graphic card driver it will mess up with the AMD Adrenaline software you have to go to to download the AMD Adrenaline, Adrenaline software from AMD um, page if you, if you receive that error it's it's a bit complicated i know but trust me for this 100 percent it's working and uh, you should uh, should upgrade up uh, made uh, you should make the upgrade